Shoemaker 2013, What's New? So in 2013 we have a few new additions to the libraries. So the first is in the stitches. So in the stitch library we have a new uh, stitch which is this one here called default stitches. And if I just uh, zoom in, select a stitch and then drag and drop this with holes version of the new stitch. So you can see that this has instantly changed the stitches so we can really see the thread in the stitches and we've got a more realistic stitch. So we can also use all of the original icons with this so we can resize, we can change the orientation and we can also change the separation of the stitch. So the next new addition to the libraries is in the materials library. So this is called uh, the wood effects, so this is uh, just located here in the materials library and we can drag and drop these new wood effects onto the heel and also if desired onto the panels. Okay, So we have a variety of these already loaded in. So the next new feature I'm going to show you is in the heel creation dialog. So if I just double click my heel we get the original dialogue we had before, but in the side curvature mode we have two new options. So the first enables me to uh, locate where I want to move, and the next enables me to drag or um, pull forward the heel breast area. So I can make a really curved heel breast. So I'm just going to leave it there. Select OK. And you can see that we've got a slight curvature in the heel. So we've also got the um, ability to use this with the manual area. So if I just select that, select begin, and I can do this manually and pull this heel breast curvature any direction I want. So I'm just going to pull it quite far back so you can really see the change. Select end and OK. So if I just pan this round, you can see that we've got a really defined curvature in this area of the heel. Okay, so we're really trying to increase the realism of the heel with this feature.